Hey guys, welcome back to another reading vlog. So I'm really annoyed with myself. In my previous vlog, I was like, I mentioned about how I couldn't get powerless in the works that was in the kind of like city centre and like how it wasn't showing on the website. I've just come to a different the works because I wanted to pick up Wildfire because um, it's got beautiful sprayed edges, like so beautiful. I haven't even read Icebreaker, obviously. Tell me, why did they have powerless? For a fiver i literally paid double almost double at the wall at waterstones now obviously it works towards like getting coupons and well like tokens but i am so annoyed with myself also i picked up more books so i picked this up in the three for six along with the other kind of two that follow in that i don't think they're connected but they also they're by the same author and yeah i picked them up because it was in the three for six so it was like you know what Let's pick them all up. So have I just spent 11 quid on books? Yes. Yes, I have. But you know what? I kind of, I don't regret it, but I am annoyed with myself. But it was more, I went to that works for convenience. So it could have been that they didn't even have it to begin with because of it being a smaller works. Um, but yeah, literally the one I've just been to and that I'm in the car park of is in a Dobby's garden centre um so yeah and i have to admit i do like the look of the books here like there's more of a selection there is definitely more of a selection so it might be that every time i want a new book i come out here granted it is like a half an hour drive but to be fair there was traffic because i stupidly decided i was going to leave at like five to five so yeah okay so it's now very early hours of sunday yes i last talked to you wednesday um in the days in between i i think it was on the wednesday i finished it was either wednesday or thursday i finished the viscount who loved me i i rated it five stars from the top of my head um i absolutely loved it like it made me giggle and yeah i just it was so nice and i loved the narrator I think I said that in my last, um, like my previous reading vlog, um, like how, so like the narrator, what she'll do is for different characters and their like speech, she'll like change her voice slightly, um, so she'll go like slightly deeper for like Anthony, um, and she'll go like slightly more higher, and like how, she, like she'll do the giggles of like Edwina, and it's just so nice and i love that so much um i've also kind of been um listening to the mother load by katie cox i've currently i think i'm about i think it says 32 percent of the way through um so i'm about a third of the way there um i'm enjoying it so far it i feel like i should be further along than i am and so i'm like what's this like plot gonna do like how is it gonna develop um so i'm really curious to see how that goes um and then i've been reading um tomorrow and tomorrow and tomorrow um my main bulk of reading well in the past couple of days that i've done of this book i would say was like today um well technically yesterday um i read 70 pages so Currently, I'm on page 208. For anyone wondering, my edition is like 480 pages. So it's not like the 418 that most of them are. Um, so I'd predict I'm about 45-ish percent of the way through. Um, I'm enjoying it so far. In my head, I'm like, this could easily be a 5-star read, but it could also be a 3.5 at the same time. So as I'm like going through it, I'm thinking, well, with this current state, it's going to end up being like a four star on Goodreads, but with the actual rating, we like 4.25. Just because it's like, I'm loving the writing and like the story and like the characters, but then I'm also like, what's the kind of conclusion? What's the end point? Like, it doesn't feel like there's a plot to it. And I believe that's because it is lit literary fiction. Um, there probably isn't 
a um kind of like a conclusion of, of sorts um part of me is hoping that there's going to be a not a romance between the two oh, what have i got in my book and um, between the two main characters but that like because i know that they're just good as friends but i feel like there needs to be a questioning of do i love that other person more than just a friend like i feel like that that is going to be something that is going to be explored um but yeah currently i'm up to the point where the main male character has just gone through a surgery anyone who's read it will understand what surgery i've meant um like it's the major the major surgery um and yeah we're kind of up to that point but yeah i feel like there needs to be a will they won't they and like i feel like it's kind of almost at that point because i know that in the end they're not going they're still going to be friends but there needs to be a point of like do i like that person more as i've just said um but yeah i'm currently really enjoying it i think i'm going to wrap up for the night um because like i finished playing like my sims 4 which i didn't do like the past like couple of days i've been able to like play a bit more um but i think i'm gonna kind of finish out the day with the reading a bit more of this um and guessing a bit of the way through it might be that i only read a chapter depending on okay i was about to say i might only read a chapter but I just looked through and that is what is basically three pages. Um, so I'm going to end up reading. Oh my god. Okay. I might read like two, three chapters only because looking through they're like quite small. Um, that's kind of what it is. Like I haven't got much to update on unfortunately because I've just not done much reading um, like how I did last week. I think after this book i don't know whether i'll try and get through and finish harry potter and the goblet of fire or whether i will read one of my e one of the ebooks that's in my tbr or just a different ebook i feel like it would be wise if i did one of the ones that's in my tbr or at the very least made like a dent in it currently it'll be the eighth as i'm filming this it is like right it's like quarter past one in the morning on the 8th so i've still got time obviously but i'll predict but i predict i'll probably finish this on like the 10th or something this is kind of like an unofficial one uh, for this month a group of australian like youtubers they're reading it as their like book of the month um for their like little friendship group book club so and because i'd like picked it up i thought you know what it'd be cool to like read it at the same time which is kind of what i'm doing and then I had the three books that I picked out from my TBR draft, which was in my previous video. And then also Powerless, which was in a, a different book club. One where it's intended for me to be in. So basically this month I did have five books. Um, so technically this is one of them, but it's also not. explain to me why i'm so like caught up in tomorrow the book i can't be asked to say tomorrow three times i played on my ipad for a bit like you saw me reading i played on my ipad for a bit and then i just picked up the book i'd like to point out i have actually spoiled some 
elements of the book so far I've come to one of them which was a very minor point in a it was like a page I know about the really bad the other thing that I spoil is to do with what happens at the office and what happens to the kind of producer marks um that's the thing I spoil I haven't come up to it yet I now over 50 I'm now like 52 percent of the way through I just updated my reading on book on goodreads and I'm like I should go to bed but for some reason I'm just so caught up in it even though Sadie is annoying me I kind of feel like it's going to end up being like a five star like in my head and as I explained before I was like this is gonna be like a four star read for some reason because I'm so caught up on it I'm like this is going to be a five star read like it's both nothing special and something special at the same time which is really confusing I feel like even though I've just updated my reading on goodreads I'm gonna end up reading more which I shouldn't really do especially because it's like half three in the morning I don't know I'm going to end up reading more. Of course I am. Okay, so it's now actually over a week later. Um, and I'm only just kind of filming. Like, I've literally edited this video. My hair might not might not look done, but that's just because I've thrown it up in a ponytail. Um, anyway, I... This, like, week that you're seeing... Well, technically, it's a week and a half when I've kind of finished what I'm about to say. Um, I finished two books, so I, I finished Tomorrow and Tomorrow and Tomorrow. I rated it four stars just because, on Goodreads just because of the fact that throughout the whole thing I was thinking this is both a five star and a 3.5 at the same time. Um, the whole video game scene at the end, it, I don't know why but to me, even though I knew it would be relevant to like the whole plot and everything, at the same time it took a while to get to like the point of it being in the book itself um like it took a while to kind of realize like that it was the two main characters like involved obviously I should have seen it first um a lot longer like before I kind of did um but it half felt pointless but also I can see what it was trying to do um so I think part of that was also why it was only a four stars and definitely wasn't just a five star read um but I do I did really enjoy it and I definitely would recommend it um um the other book that I finished so I finished tomorrow and tomorrow and tomorrow on I think it was like Wednesday the 11th so I'd predicted um that I'd finish it on the 10th obviously I finished it on the 11th but knowing me it was probably the very early hours um but anyway the second book that I finished was The Mother Load by Katie Cox um so I believe off the top of my head I think I rated it um four stars let me just look at yeah I rated it four stars and I finished it on the 13th which was a Friday, um, and I'm including it because it was at the very uh, in the very early hours of the Friday. I do remember that, um, which is why I've included it, and also because most of it was listened to during like this like week that you've seen. So yeah, I finished two books this week. Obviously, less than the previous week where I finished like five or something. I think it was five. I don't, I can't even remember, or like four, I don't know. I enjoyed both of the books that I'd read. I didn't really read any other book. I think I, I listened to like half of a book called Here Goes Nothing by Eamon McGrath, but I didn't finish that. You know what, we'll include it. I finished that on the 14th, so the Saturday. Um, You'll see a clip in my next reading vlog that was filmed on the Friday, um, but I, my reading vlog won't really start until today. I just, I like the clip and I think it goes more for <laughs> this week than last. So yeah, now three 
books. If I read any other books, it wasn't like, it was like I'd read like a chapter here and there, um, but I haven't finished them. So yeah, that's kind of it. But I hope you guys enjoyed this reading vlog and I hope you guys will hit the subscribe button. Let me know what book you're currently reading um, or the last book that you read. And I will see you guys in the next reading vlog.